we have a new national security threat as a Chinese tracking device has been found in a car belonging to a British government minister. Now, with all the crises and scandals we're dealing with on a daily basis in British politics, there are some issues that are way more important. And one of them is national security, and especially when it comes to China. We've already uh, talked about on this channel uh, the Chinese uh, CCP agents in Parliament, especially one of them who was already discovered, who became very friendly and close to some of our members of Parliament, and especially Labour MPs. All those things, we, and we, it's not really surprising, we know that China are doing a lot of dodgy stuff in the country. It's because we kind of opened the door and we welcomed them in. And now we're in a bit of a mess. But this is really bad. A car belonging to a government minister in Britain, they discovered a tracking device. And now they're destroying all the cars. They're completely doing a bit of a surgery to completely dismantle these cars to make sure that everything else is fine. And all the burden goes on GCHQ. While our idiotic politicians and incompetent civil servants and everybody else are just doing their own normal nonsense every single day, actual intelligence community like GCHQ are the ones who have to make more of an effort. They make things harder for um, MI5, MI6, GCHQ by being idiotic, the political leadership. Now, of course, President Xi has his own interests in Britain and, in, of course, across the world. They are slowly taking over the world without even attacking a country. It's brilliant. This is the new way of doing empire, and China are doing it. They completely infiltrated every single continent. Look at Central Africa, what they're doing there. They bought out Iran. All the contracts in Iran now belongs to China. They literally call the shot. A lot of the international debt, governments around the world, the debt goes back to China. We owe them money. It's embarrassing where we are now in this situation. And now, Ian Duncan Smith, who's been very, very vocal against China, and he set up a group against China, yet no one's listening to him and his group, unfortunately, he said... I don't know how much more the UK needs to know about the threat China poses to us all before we actually do something. Surely it is time to change the integrated review and refer, refer to China as a systemic threat. And he refers to Rishi Sunak because recently Rishi Sunak came and said, well, China is not a systemic threat. They are a competitor. They are a rival and we will deal with them because... I'm a businessman. I know how to negotiate. It's time to stop negotiating with the enemy. Maybe that will help. Uh, the uh, GCHQ guys have come out to actually say that the SIMs in these devices uh, that they've, they've discovered, it gives uh, the ability to survey government over a period of months and years, constantly filing movements and constantly building up a rich picture of activity. You can do it slowly and methodically over a very, very long time. That's very, uh, that's the vulnerability of the system. And it, it's bad. And we know that the discussion about the, the threats that China poses is not really happening inside, at least the parliamentary uh, system. You know, we have the, the national security guys who are doing their jobs. When you have the prime minister, who's supposed to be a good role model, referring to China as a rival rather than an actual threat, then what do you expect from everybody else inside the establishment? When their own boss is saying China is okay, when he, their own boss and his chancellor have links to China <laughs> and their families, all these businesses, that's literally the definition of a bad role model. And we are in this mess. Un until we get rid of this idiot, nothing's going to change. And the alternative, unfortunately, is more left wing and Starmer and more threat to our national security. Anyway, let's be happy. <laughs> Too much doom and gloom. The best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel, support us on my 2 and we are the media.